Christmas for Everyone On Christmas Eve, a brave fox named Robin Hood and his bear friend Little John were celebrating in Sherwood Forest. They had roasted a goose and some chestnuts over an open fire. A true feast, said Friar Tuck, a badger, when he saw the goose. He knelt beside the fire to warm his hands. We did our best, said Little John. It wasn't easy to get a bird on Christmas Eve, but good old Rob knows where to find things, he chuckled. Robin Hood laughed. Johnny, you give me too much credit. The goose was a Christmas gift from the Sheriff of Nottingham. He won't miss one little bird. You should see the spread he's got over there. I'm sure, Friar Tuck said, he won't notice a missing goose when he's already got a chicken and a turkey on his holiday table. Friar Tuck shook his head. Doesn't seem right. That old sheriff gets more greedy by the day, by the hour. Robin Hood thought about what Friar Tuck had said. When they sat down to dinner with Toby Turtle and Alan Adale the rooster, Robin noticed everyone looked a little down. This isn't a cheerful Christmas feast, Little John noted. Something's not right, said Toby the turtle. Robin Hood nodded. He knew Toby was right, but he couldn't figure out what the problem was either. The goose tastes great, Toby said. It's just that, would some Christmas music lighten the mood, Alan Adale asked as he picked up his guitar. I know what it is, Robin, Little John said. He looked sad. We took the day off to get ready for Christmas. The only thing we stole was, the goose, Robin cried. He couldn't believe he hadn't thought of all the poor people of Nottingham who didn't have anything to eat this Christmas holiday. The poor people of Nottingham don't have anything to eat, Friar Tuck asked. He felt terrible. All day, he'd gone around to the poorest families handing out small purses full of coins gathered from the collection plate. He hadn't thought to bring a Christmas feast to anyone. A single tear rolled down his cheek. A Christmas feast is an important part of the holiday, said Robin, and I think I know where we can find one at this late hour. Little John smiled. Who deserves a feast the least, he crowed. He knew exactly what Robin was thinking. The Sheriff of Nottingham, Toby said. The friends set off through the forest on their sleigh. They were on their way to the Sheriff's house. They knew he would have plenty of food to spare. When they reached the Sheriff's home, they peered through the frosted window. Robin gasped at the sight before him. A yule log blazed on the hearth. The tree twinkled with candles, and gifts were everywhere. Steam rose from the large dining table. Look at all these gifts, all that food. I can think of a dozen families who would be grateful for just one item from that pile, Robin Hood said to Little John. I'll go to the front door and distract the sheriff. Johnny, you take the men inside, bring the feast and presents out through the kitchen, then load up the sleigh. Robin quickly disguised himself as a blind beggar and rapped on the sheriff's door. When the sheriff opened it, Robin said, Alms for a poor blind man on this wintry eve? Oh, you beggars, the sheriff said. Can't you give it a rest? It's Christmas Eve, and I'm trying to eat my dinner in peace. The sheriff went to close the door, but Robin held it open. All the more reason to spare something, kind sir, Robin said. Now wait just a minute there, the sheriff said. Haven't I seen this outfit before? Robin shook his head. The sheriff lunged forward to grab the beggar. Robin ducked, but the sheriff caught his arm. He lifted the hat on the beggar's head and saw the smiling face of Robin Hood. I knew it, the sheriff said as he looked at Robin. You can't fool the good sheriff of Nottingham. Robin smiled. He had tricked the sheriff plenty of times before. He wriggled free of the sheriff's grip and ran off. The sheriff chased him into Sherwood Forest. Robin laughed as he ran. He was so quick that the sheriff could hardly keep up. When Robin had enough distance between himself and the sheriff, he climbed high into a tree. He carefully creeped out onto a thick branch to watch for the sheriff. He knew the evil man wouldn't give up easily. Robin heard footsteps crunching through the snow. He peered down and watched the sheriff run through the woods, calling after him. The sheriff searched for Robin, but he couldn't find even a footprint. I'll get you this time, Robin Hood, the sheriff called as he ran. Robin chuckled as he slid to the ground. He bested the sheriff once again. Meanwhile, Little John and the rest of the men had taken the sheriff's gifts and feast. They loaded their sleigh with brightly wrapped packages, roast turkey, and plum pudding. They even took the magnificent Christmas tree. Little John took hold of the front of the sleigh and started to run. Robin Hood soon caught up with his friends. There's no time to waste, he said. The sheriff is mad. We've got to get these gifts delivered before he takes them all back. Made Marion, a kind young fox, and her lady-in-waiting, a cheerful hen named Lady Cluck, passed by the sleigh in their carriage. Why, Robin Hood, what a merry surprise, Marion said as the carriage pulled to a stop. Robin bowed low to the ladies. Merry Christmas Eve to you, too, Maid Marion, he said. What are you ladies doing out this evening? Marion said, I've been out delivering baskets to the poor. There are so many in need, said Lady Cluck. We've just run out. Robin smiled wide. 
It just so happens that I was doing the same thing. Let us share these gifts with you. The sheriff's Christmas trimmings were safely tucked into the carriage. See you back in Sherwood Forest, Robin called as Little John pulled the sleigh off into the woods. He stayed to hand out the food and gifts with Maid Marian. When they finished, they headed for Sherwood Forest to join Little John and the others. Robin Hood couldn't help but feel that this had been a perfect Christmas. He had given plenty of food and good cheer to the people of Nottingham, and he had the best gift of all, spending his holiday with Maid Marian. <laughs>